heavyweight matchup between Holly Holm and Amanda Nunes. All right, so here she is, two division UFC champion Amanda Nunes. And ice water in her veins doesn't even begin to describe it. There's just something about Amanda Nunes on fight night, whether she's staring across at Ronda Rousey or Chris Cyborg, it doesn't seem to matter. She puts the focus on her, and skill for skill, she might be the best in the world. And it comes from that, right, John? Because what intimidates you when you stood across from the biggest stars the sport has to offer? She goes out there with an idea of how she's going to approach the fight, regardless of the opponent. And in most cases, she is approaching these fights with one thing on her mind, and that's brutality. And you watch that in her finishes. She demolished Ronda Rousey. She busted up Misha Tate and then knocked out Chris Cyborg. Amanda Nunes is a savage. We always talk about MMA being the fastest growing sport in the world. Women's MMA might be the fastest growing sport in the world, and no one has been a bigger beneficiary, of course, than one Amanda Nunes. All right, here she is, the former UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, Holly Holm. It was Melbourne, Australia. It was UFC 193, November 15th of 2015, when Holly Holm effectively changed her life forever. Holly Holm changed her life, but she changed the landscape of mixed martial arts. Yes. She showed that Ronda Rousey was not this unbeatable fighter that everybody thought she was to be. Went out there, set her trap with that lead left hand, used her footwork and movement to walk Rousey right into a beautiful head kick that finished the fight. A multiple time boxing champion, amateur kickboxing background, Holly Holm is just truly something special. And that Rousey win still one of the biggest upsets, betting odds or otherwise, in UFC history. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 23 wins, five losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, six losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Holly, the preacher's daughter, Paul. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Here we go, capacity crowd on hand tonight to see Amanda Nunes take on Holly Holm. Your thoughts on how Holly's gonna approach the world beater that is Amanda Nunes? Holly has to get on her bicycle. She has to make sure that she's out of range. She manages space and distance, and fighting behind those quick combinations when she darts in and she darts out. As long as she's out, she does not run the risk of Amanda landing one of those big overhand rights that she's now known for. Beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands amongst the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. Oh, huge knee of the body. That'll soften her up. A strong outside leg kick.
Right into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing. Right away passing. Trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. Both fighters back to their feet now. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. So 28 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch. And of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open and she will dig big brutal knees to the body. Nice kick. Oh, nice right hand. She lands a switch knee. Changes her stance yet again. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, Holmes' shot is blocked. Ooh, what a head kick. Clean with the right hook. Well, she continues to leave that head open, and she paid for it there. She's almost moving into the strike. She hasn't changed up her tempo, and she continues to keep her head on that center line. We'll see if she can make the proper adjustments here. Oh, and she connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. Ooh. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night that that landed. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. That's a takedown. Well placed kick there by Holm. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh, well, that's a good right hand. Now goes in and. So once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Oh, you can see her limp it a little bit now. That leg is hurting for certain. <laughs> Big leg kick land. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Back to the feet. And she landed a kick there, DC. That was well done. Well done. She does a great job of recognizing the opening and getting the leg there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so the round is over. They rush her back to her stool, obviously because the cut on her lip has gotten borderline out of control here. And you think if it gets any worse, maybe they would stop this fight. Hard to say at this point whether or not it's affecting her breathing, but that is a nasty, nasty cut. And maybe as bad a cut as we've seen since Robbie Lawler back in 2016. Here we go with our second round, Holly Holm. And on the other side, the Lioness, Amanda Nunes. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch here. Just out of range with that right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Holmes' kick attempt, that one was blocked. Oh, that's an outstanding attempt with the kick there. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. So fast to the target, what a great job. <laughs> Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, you hate to be overly critical, because
she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations tonight. She's got to let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's got to find the confidence to know that all that repetition, all that work in her boxing goals is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. Straight punch lands. 71 total strikes for Holly Holm. And landing at a 49% clip tonight thus far against Amanda Nunes. Oh, man, that looked like it hurt. Nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. Now we're going. And there's the shot, and there's the land. Nice takedown there by Nunes. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Nunez is back in half guard. And this is where she's good. Once she's on top is where she's a beast. Man, she is just nonstop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Nice kick. So next to the right, Nunez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Powerful leg kick lands. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful punch. Takedown defense holds up. Look at how she drives her knee right into her opponent's midsection. Oh, nice strike there to the body. She has worked the midsection to great effect here in this round. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Ninety seconds now in round two. Left hand punch from the clinch. Great punch. Visibly limping here. Well placed kick there by Nunes. There's no tell on that leg kick. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, big knee! Forty-five seconds remain in the round. She's her bad. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Nunes. Again, she chooses to clinch here. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, she is as relentless as any striker on this roster, man or woman, eternally aggressive with her strikes. Gotta be careful, of course, not to gas out, but so far, so good for her here in this round. Beautiful kick. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the big moment in that previous round was the knockdown. We'll get you the replay now. DC, take us through it. She was able to get her chance. She was able to find her moment. She recognized that an opportunity presented itself. She took it and landed that beautiful knockdown. She is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives if need be tonight. Nunez's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. 
Look at the angle of that nice body shot. Punch over the top. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. What a tricky head kick. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. So, wow. So a big TKO victory for her here tonight. She executed to a T, and she makes a major statement to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop for this contest at 46 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Holly, the preacher's daughter. Well, she is smiling ear to ear and hard to blame her after she gets the win tonight by TKO. And really, everything she said about this fight coming in played out that way on fight. Sometimes you can say a lot of things and you're not sure.